What's up, everybody? This is yours truly, Myron Smothers with the Mind of Myron. Die, come, and this is a new episode of The Mind at the Movies where we talk about the hottest shows on TV or the hottest shows that hit the movie theaters. Now, I know everybody's watching Game of Thrones right now and getting ready for the Avengers Endgame movie, but but we gonna take a break and head over to the BET Awards. Well, not exactly the BET Awards, but BET has been bumping out some new programming, and I have to give them some credit for making the effort. Now, they have a new show out that we about to talk about, but I have two problems with y'all BT before we even get there. Number one, y'all gotta hire somebody to replace the girl y'all fired for the Nicki Minaj debacle. Why? Because nobody was tweeting about this new show y'all had coming out. Like, I knew about this show a long time ago, right? Because I saw the cast and I was like, God damn, I want to see this. Um, But since then, I ain't really seen much about the show. Like, this could have been pumped. You could have been pumping this show out. You had Lauren London. Um, you got Dro from Insecure. Uh, you got a couple other big names. And you got Katie making her return. Katie from My Wife and Kids. Making her return back to the television screen. And we people won't see that. I know I, I enjoyed every minute of it. People won't see that. Y'all got to promote better, BET. Uh, that's my first problem. And the second problem is... I don't like who y'all casted Lauren London to play because I don't believe it. Who in their right mind think somebody cheating on Lauren? Not I said the cat. Not I said the dog. It would. It, it ain't believable. Now I know Katie. Katie bad. Katie bad. But I don't, I don't see nothing happening like that to Miss London. So the show we're talking about is games people play just premiered on BET right after the Mary Jane finale that y'all also did not pr- promote. Um, but besides that, I was impressed, BET. I was impressed. Um, I took a bunch of notes on the show. Um, but overall, just getting from initial thoughts, man, I was impressed. Uh... It wasn't cheesy. It wasn't corny. It gave me a B B T's the games times or combined with B T's hit the floor. It gave me like a mashup of that, but in a good way. It was like uh, we know what we did wrong. We hit the floor. We know what we did wrong with the game. So let's see if we can take those both and make it better. Like if you ever been in, in like Target or something, and you seen those like little black. Uh, novels, not the Zane was nasties, but the black ones, like with the black people on there, you know it's about some drama. That's kind of what this show got a fitting uh to to me. But I'm here for the mess. Um, so let's talk about it, man. We got like five major characters, and of course, Lauren London uh is the main character. Vanessa, she is the wife of basketball player Dro. Um, his name is I believe called no, his name is I think it's Marcus. Yeah, it's Marcus. Shout out to my brother Marcus, but that's just not a. When you get a Marcus, we we know to, what to expect from you guys. Not my brother, he's a saint, but you other ones. Um, but yeah, so her husband Marcus, they moved to LA. He's been traded, and rumor has it he's been traded because he been cheating, cheating, and you doing us bad. You know black men don't cheat, so BT. I don't even know y'all could have had a white man play this role. But we're gonna we gonna play into the storytelling for now. Um so Mar- apparently they moved because Marcus been cheating. Uh but it's some more drama that comes into that. Marcus had a side chick, like, you know, that must have really been revealed and came out. But it's two things about her. Number one, she is missing. And number two, clearly that's not his only problem because he is still cheating. And I don't believe it because it's on Lauren. Um so we see those two characters. So we see that um, we see she uh, Lauren has a friend named Nia. Nia, uh, she's basically the shade room of the show, finding out all the information, uh, or she's the gossip in the city. If y'all know about that, get on it um, of the show, and she gets the tea. So she exposes this big pastor 
Um, uh, and then from that, she gets a promotion and moves to LA. So she kind of re uh, gets back together with her friend um, Lauren, uh, well Vanessa, in uh, in LA. Uh, then next up, we got she got a little boo thing. Uh, he like a tech nerd, police officer, but you know he's cool. Um, next we have. Uh, Katie and Katie's character name is oh let me not lie to you her character's name is I just put it as Katie the side chick uh no I put her name on here somewhere it is she's goddess LA that's what she is she's golden goddess LA and basically she is a struggling actress or something um and she gets some like she gets a lady in her ear saying you got to do certain things you know get your uh, get your name out there popping you dig so she combines forces uh, with her and she starts getting her clientele and from there she starts building her Instagram basically saying I'm sleeping with an NBA player that's married um, and then last but not least we got old boy Kareem and Kareem is the dude from ATL so y'all know who I'm talking about when you see it uh, but there's some drama going on in this show right uh that I like, I mean, I like the fact that we are gonna see a conversation where it's job versus friendship because that's coming. Uh, we saw uh, Naya Neil, I hope I get her name right, one of those. Um, she gets another drop on who Goddess LA is, and it's really who she's messing with. And we know from the show that she's messing with uh, Lauren London's husband. Um, so she's gonna either have to not do it or have to go and tell her friend like this is this work. I can't. That's gonna be an interesting conversation. Um, Katie is. It's gonna be interesting to see like how how far or how long she makes it because her role right now is really just as the side chick. Um, I don't know if she's trying to use that to maybe get on a basketball wives type of show on this show or uh, using that to become popping and like where is her storyline gonna continue to go because right now it just seems like Marcus which is Joe's character don't seem like he really uh like her he just met her really it's just more so that like he got a cheating problem like he just can't stop like he, he might be a sex addict or something um so that's gonna be interesting uh to look for to man the pastor who got exposed whoa the pastor was on there on the TV show one second uh, denouncing Satan the next minute they saw him in a club and lace getting whipped with a uh, a whip <laughs> getting whipped with a whip man and so he said he getting revenge so it's gonna be interesting to see when he pops back up in the show and is it me but BT y'all not stars this not power y'all had more shits and getting it in than I've ever seen on the BT show Man, what have the what have the the guidelines or the fines? The fines must have went away because they let y'all do anything on cable TV nowadays. Used to you can say ass, maybe the B word, but a, sh a bunch of shits. And y'all was getting it in, and it wouldn't have get it in like the love and basketball get it in, where you just see like the facial expressions. Man, you saw all damn near the body. Now I ain't complaining because uh, Katie and Lauren looked very uh, extravagant. I'm sure the ladies didn't enjoy looking at Dro as well. Y'all talked about him enough on Insecure. But, but you see y'all getting it in. Y'all getting it in, man. And I think the biggest thing of all that I'm anxious to see how this plays out because I have a theory already, right? I have a theory. Uh, the side chick is missing. The side chick from New York. I think they got church from New York. She missing, right? And we see at the end of the episode that she dead. And now I know what y'all are thinking. Man, Dro had somebody set up. We know Kareem deal with stuff like that. They probably got rid of him. I don't believe it. I think not. I think Lauren London character got that side chick knocked off and said, play with me if you want to. Because if you see how she talking in the previews, it's like real like gutter snipe. Like, nigga, didn't I tell you don't do this shit again? You saw what happened with the... So it's gonna be interesting to see how that part plays out. Um, maybe they'll play it off as like just a random coincidence, but I think some one of them had something to do with it. And Lauren London, I'm looking at you, man. Shout out to Lauren London because it it's she can't even really promote her show right now because she's still you know grieving 
uh, with the loss of, of Nipsey. So shout out to her, man. Shout out to BET because y'all did an impressive job. All right, man. That's it. That's all I got, man. Just wanted to talk about the show. I thought it was cool seeing a new show on TV that I actually enjoy. And shout out to BET for producing it, man. We be giving BET a hard time. I do as well because I hold them to a standard that I want them to get to. But y'all did a good job. So promote the show. Promote the show. Promote the show. Yeah,